If I had to guess, I would assume that this has to do with like deeper on Oikawa's life. Because if we're talking, because the title of the episode is called Oikawa is not a genius. But if we're talking pure skill and volleyball mechanics, technicality, stuff like that, I would definitely say he's a genius. So I don't know what this has to do about. What is up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with episode 20 of Haikyuu. Last that wow, we're already on episode 20. Is that true? Yes, we are. Last episode, we we're starting the match off against Alba Josai. Um, it wasn't going well at the beginning, but we were able to turn it in our favor just slightly and get on their nerves, get in their head just a little bit. So I'm very excited to see the setter showdown between Kageyama and Oikawa. This is like their personal grudge match. So we should see how that goes down. I'm just going to hop on into it, throw out my plugs like usual. Remember, guys, if you guys want to support me and get early access and full length to this show, all my other current shows and all the shows I've done in the past, consider checking out that Patreon down below. Links are in there. As always, if you guys still want to support me, but Patreon's not really your thing, if you could just leave a like and a nice comment, I'd really appreciate it. And don't forget to click that bell so you guys are part of the notification gang so you guys always know when I post. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch and on Twitter. I'd really appreciate it. Let's hop into this um uh haiku episode 20 oikawa is not a genius that is true oikawa is known as the best i don't even think setter right he's known as the best player in the prefecture i know that guy from shiro torizawa is the best ace i said that totally a grudge match of the setters feel the grip on that ball feel the ball He's a little overzealous right now. It happens. He's just, you know, he gets into it a little bit. Don't mind, don't mind. That's serving. And I love the music. That I love the way they animate him every time, but I love the music. Oh, last second he was able to read that. Still stop it. Nishinoya is disgusting. Nice. Yeah, me too. But I wonder why. Be only because he did the VOD review. Oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. If your literal backline number one god guardian support can't stop it, then what are you going to do? Yes. 100% agree. Nishinoya, easily one of my top favorites. Okay, I'd be very intimidated by him saying that. I don't know. But don't worry, just jump. Wow, he did it. Is he trying to go head-to-head -head with Kageyama like Kageyama went head-to-head -head with him? What are his eyes saying? Ooh, we tipped it that time. He's like, coach, call timeout, call timeout. He figured out something. He figured out something. He was able to deduce their fucking keys, their hands, whatever the fuck it is. Oh, that's why he was VOD reviewing. Bring it to me or bring it here equals a god quick attack. To me is their normal attack. For him to be able to play the game and see this and be able to oh. guys oikawa how is this title called he's not a genius is there something higher than a genius or something yeah yeah it'll get in their head for sure that's a very valid point you got to think, those two elements do not make you a top four team. You got to still be a good ass team. That's the thing that gets me how much they're thinking about while being able to play. It takes so much mental power. Makes it look like it's a dun Oh, wow. He was actually going to. He actually went for it. He's like, what? 
Oh, and he barely got it. Yeah. Don't fuck up the serve this time. Nah, you got this, Kakayama. Ooh, what was that? Oh! He did the soft serve that the uh, Neighborhood Association did, but that was a, still a fantastic save from Alba Josai. What the hell? Oh, yeah, now we can't toss. Daichi had to do it. He was able to turn something that was such a disadvantage for him into an overwhelming advantage for them. What are we going to do against this man? The way he throws that ball, bro. The way he does this serve. He's so smart. He is so smart. The essence of their attack. That is true. The decoy is useless. Good. Good. He was about to carry their momentum. Yeah, he was about to carry that shit all the way up. Ooh, I'm so glad they called that. Yeah, that's a good point. It's not you versus Oikawa. It's team versus team. We got many other tactics, many other things we can do to get around this obstacle that we have right here. Oh my god. I get, I feel like I get like a little mini chub every time I see him serve. Tanaka's really getting shut down right now. Another timeout. I like how they go into the emotional state of what playing does to you. Because a lot of people who've never played like me wouldn't understand how bad that feels. He does. You should really try to cheer him up. I agree. Oh, wow. I didn't even notice that. Hell yeah. Shouts out Tanaka, bro. Come on. Hell yeah. You have to have so much confidence, self-humility, self so much dope shit to be able to talk like this. It curved. Oh, and he was the one that one touched. Or he he's touched it first. Oh, and then Ishinoe. This is probably the best back and forth I've ever seen in this. Mental strength is so important. The view from the summit. See that spot. Oh, yes. Qualities of an ace. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Tanaka. I love their relationship. I also love how Hinata was the one that saved that ball right there. Oh, they know. He said bring it. Wow, they still, I didn't even, I was trying to watch it. I didn't even notice he still got it. It was his only weakness. That is very true. Also very true. It only has been two months, but he is making extreme progress in breaking that habit. But no, nah, I've always said this. I said this since last episode. Oikawa is a social analytical genius. Like, he is so good. Yeah, Oikawa is so fucking smart. No, he doesn't. And the fact that he's able to see all of this while playing a game... And he is the conductor, so he knows each individual one of his players and exactly what fits to their... Oh my god, bro. This fucking guy. It's like a joust. Is that what they called it, right? A duel? Oh, no. Oh, the, oh, nice, Asahi. I don't realize Tsukushima missed it right there. Oh, 
So that's what the title means. Okay. Good. I personally believe with what I've seen, like if I'm just going based off what I've seen, Oikawa is a genius. Not necessarily in talent, which is where they're using the term genius here, but in many other ways. They're taking him out. Oh no. Oh my god. That's got to hit his mental like a fucking brick. I'm assuming that's what that meant, right? Sugawara with the sign, like switching out number nine. I don't even know what number Kageyama is, but I just have to assume that's what that means. If that is, that's kind of a cool way of calling or switching out, you know, players. But oh man, this has been a mental roller coaster for my boy Kageyama. And for this to be the end, I don't like it. But also, it might be. Hold on, someone's doing yard work outside. Let me close my window, hold on. So I know, like I said earlier, they're using the term genius in terms of pure latent ability. And you know, like, because when you think about it, the term, I mean, you can develop your IQ and your brain powers and, and where you learn and how you're able to learn and absorb stuff like that. But it is a lot of just innate talent and ability you're born with, like in terms of the actual geniuses. I'm talking like, isn't it considered genius if you're like, and I know IQs have changed over the past whatever so odd years, but back in the day, I swear it was considered genius level if you were above like, what is it, 145, 150 IQ? You were considered a genius. And now, like I said, you could go to school, you could try to learn as much as possible, but the actual ability of retaining information and being able to, you know, just the ability of being a genius is uh, innate and you're born with it. So I completely understand why they're saying Oikawa is not a genius because he's worked so hard for this. But it's still so unbelievable the things this man can do. Like the way he's able to already know his team to a T. And after just watch playing against him for one set and one VOD review and then one more set, which is this game, he's able to tell our players and what they need. He's like, if you were able to raise three just a little bit higher or slightly lower, whatever he said, you'd be able to do this. If you know you just did this with this person, they'd be like that is and like i and with that being said i love the analogy ukai made with a conductor earlier like you could have the same orchestra the same song but a different conductor it's gonna sound different so the fact that like oikawa is the best of the best to be able to shape the team like oh it's so crazy I, this guy i don't know what's gonna happen obviously i haven't seen the show i know there's season two three and four and i know there's still haiku somehow coming out called like to the top or something like that but I do know sometime in season four, because I remember he was trending on Twitter, like worldwide, like people love Oikawa. Like I know something's going to happen with him in season four, something, at least something, or season five, I don't know, somewhere around, somewhere in the new Haikyuu, some, something's going to happen with Oikawa, because that boy, I like that guy. I like, I like Oikawa. He makes me want to be smarter. Like he makes me want to take pride in the stuff that I do, because like, it's all internal too. And, and that's what, like if you were to go into the head of a professional Counter-Strike player, any professional player in, in terms of an eSport, and you were able to go into their brain, they're thinking of shit like this. Like they're thinking of the very small, minute details that the average person would not even dream to think of. But that's what gives them the edge. That's what makes them the top 0.1% of the world, you know? Whereas, it's just crazy. Like I just, I, I love, it makes me want to be better at stuff. It really does. Is that weird? It makes me want to be better at things. But I appreciate y'all. I'm going to head out of here. I got to go get some lunch and edit some videos. I'll catch y'all soon. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys. Have a great day. Love you.